based at our CID headquarters and within our narcotics bureau to conduct all these investigations, especially on uh, paper trail, money trail, and the uh, proceeds of crime. So, with just in regards to the safety issue in uh, Suva, yeah, uh, we're going into the weekend. Yes. So, what's the police force's strategy to yeah. you know counter these muggings and things that are happening, especially during the night hours? Yeah. Our operations is working together with uh, our officers at the Central Division to, you know, this this operation they won't, uh, it's, uh, you won't see uniformed police officers, but they will be in civilians, you know, trying to identify these officers. Because when these things happen, it's not in the visibility of where police are. It happens in an area where they don't see police officers. And, and uh, to make it worse, when things happen and this, uh, the victims, they don't complain. But it's highlighted in the media. And we pick it up from the media, and the media comes and asks us about uh, all the situations that is happening. Yeah? But uh, our DPC Central and the Chief Operations Officer, they will come out with a strategy how to overcome all this. Uh, Will, you, will also a strategy be trying to identify blind spots where these things may be yes, happening? Yes, yes, yes. As you mentioned, yeah, because, because when they look at the stats, where it happens, and the time it happens, yeah, and who are all are involved, eh? because uh, <clears throat> when these things happen, you know, the general public, most of them are just standing there and taking photos, but they are not assisting whoever is uh, the victim, eh? and uh, that is the worst case scenario when people just get a smartphone and just take photos and the next thing is on the social media and the next thing we're up the police.